Not going to lie to you guys, this Sui entry is going to be a lot more difficult than previous Jasmine entry in the last video. So Sui's actually ran from its previous swing low to its high, 288% to the upside. So do you want to be buying something that's 288% more expensive than what it was a few days ago? Or is there a better entry, guys? Nothing's impossible, and this is how I'm playing it. So Sui, it's currently trading at $1.63. So we need to identify, have we hit a resistance level? If we've hit a resistance level, are we likely to pull back? If we're likely to pull back, how far are we likely to pull back to? That's the million dollar question. That's what we're going to go over in today's video. So the first thing I'm going to do is stick our Fibonacci retracement tool from its previous swing high to measure to see if there's any resistance levels and any sticking points on the Fibonacci from where price action is now. And you can see, I've come up tested the one, the 786, the 786 retracement. So that's sitting at $1.80. We got a reaction from that and we've started a little pullback. So we started a little pullback. So this is going to be our first area. That's going to be our resistance zone. So if we just build this in now, that's our resistance zone. We'll get rid of the Fibonacci. Next thing we're going to do is check the validity of this swing. Is swing three bigger than swing one? So we're going to check that with the Fibonacci extension from its low to wave two, pullback, pullback of wave two and we're looking for extensions look guys i say one two seven two that confirms the swing three one six one eight is confirms it but with velocity so that means it's got a deeper pullback so we need to identify how far this pullback actually is now so we know swing three is bigger than swing one that's a tick so we need to stick our fib tool on there the retracement tool from the previous swing high this time trick swing low to the previous swing high sorry then we're coming back and we're looking for zones we're looking for our 618 is there any confluence at the 618 stick the 618 on there and you could see we've been rejected once twice come back down nearly rejected three times so this is a strong area that i'd expect price to pull back to and that is from where price action is now move to the downside of 30%. So that's 30% cheaper if we come back and test this as support. It's previous resistance, previous resistance, previous resistance. We want it to flip support. We want it to hold support and then move to the upside with a leg five. So this would be leg four coming down here. Leg four. This is where I've been looking for an entry, $1.16. We want to hold this level. It's important that we hold this level. Then that will confirm the wave five. So once we've got a wave five, if we break the previous swing high, that's confirmed that the trend's intact and you're expected to get a continuation. Stick a trend line on at that point. And you're holding trend, you're holding trend until you break down from trend and you reject the trend. So you follow the trend, guys. The trend's your friend till the bend at the end. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a pullback back to this $1.14. I'm looking for this $1.14 to hold, and then I'm looking for the wave five extension on this. So what's the indicators telling us? You can see we were entering into an overbought territory at this level, at the 786 retracement level, we were entering overbought. Entering overbought, what happens? You start the pullback, you start the pullback. So as the stochastic comes down, as this comes down, Expect price action to follow it. We need to hold this level here. We need to hold the trend. We need to hold the $1.16. That's important, guys. Then the RSI is going to come down. And then the money flow, we need to stay into positive. So you expect the money flow to come down. It's either going to come down into negative and then back into positive, or it'll come down and then curve back into positive. The flow of money will start coming back once we hit this support zone. The bears are winning. The bears are winning because it's pulling back. The bulls are holding off. Bulls are waiting for these 30% cheaper entries. So when we get down to this level, you'll see buyers, 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 another turn, and then wave five to the upside. That's the method in our madness, guys. So if you did find this useful, don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you want me to cover next, and I'll see you in the next one.